when you have all this other outside distraction going on, working, being a mother, try to balance not only your personal life, but your child's personal life in the midst of everything that you have going on. It's hard. My mother's grandmother, who I was extremely close with, she just passed in July unexpectedly. Literally talked to her hour before it happened. I took it really hard when she died. So I dropped out of a class. I stopped answering their emails. They would call, I wouldn't answer. They would text, I wouldn't answer. And my current advisor, her name's Melissa. She's like, okay, I'm concerned. I haven't heard from you. Checking in, I see you dropped your class. Let me know what I can do to make sure that you don't lose sight of yourself in the midst of what you're going through. So I said, I just need time. Just give me my space. But she did, but she would still check on me once a week. And she would always hit it with, no response needed. I'm just checking on you. I'm just checking your headspace. So I ignored her still, but then I re-enrolled. So when she see me sign up for another class, she just sent me, and all it said was yay. That was it. So it just shows that they really are looking. It was simply a yay, but that helped. Cause I'm like, oh, she really cares. So when you have somebody sitting there like, okay, you're going through something mentally right now. We're still here for you in the background if you want to talk. That helps you stay the course, stay on your goal. They literally help with everything. I don't know how, I don't know how you do it without them.